Hey folks, welcome to Well. I want to um, take a moment to kind of revert back to some of the conversations we've been having here lately on Well. You know, the conversations is wrapped around AI, what's it doing, where is it at, where are we at with technology in our everyday world, in business and in life. Here's the thing I want you guys to all understand. <clears throat> it is no longer an option to think that we are not fully involved in the development of a world where AI technology and all of the applications of Internet of Things is not the way we live life now. <laughs> it's here. It's happening. So let's kind of, you know, get over the, the fear of it and understand we've been developing this as a culture for years now, for years, 40, 50, 60, 70 years We've been developing these things. You know, I think back to my father, you know, who was in, he was, you know, in the Air Force in the late 1950s. And when he took his aptitude test for, for the military, what he scored highest in was computing. Now, obviously, you know, the development of computers at that time were, you know, at, at its infancy and the, and the computer was the size of a room. But I want to kind of give that some context to, you know, from a from a timeline standpoint, you know, we're going we're talking, you know, we're talking 65 years ago, you know, 65, 70 years ago when this technology, you know, was was really getting a good run and getting some investment behind it. Fast forward to the day. Now, here we are in an application phase. So just get your minds wrapped around. Let's all get our minds wrapped around. Let's just say, OK, and here's the other piece. It's 2023, 2023. Say that to yourself a few times. It's 2023, it's 2023. Let's be honest. What did you think 2023 would be like? <laughs> now, for, for those of us, you know, I'm 49 now, you know, for those of us that are, you know, around this age, we're exactly where we should have thought that we'd be at right now with technology. Now, if you're 20, okay, you know, you've lived your whole life in it. This is, you know, this is old news. You know, what are they talking about? You know, you've known this your whole life. Now, if you're older, you know, if you're 40, 50, 60, 70, you know, here's the reality. My father's 86 years old and he's sending text messages on his smartphone. Everybody in between, you know, let's get it together. And I'm saying it specifically because I know so many, most of the adults that I know, no matter what, you know, class, region, culture that they're in, are struggling with the usage of technology as if it's still an option. That's what this video is about today here on Well. You gotta say, well, you know, it's no longer an option whether you're going to embrace, utilize, access the, 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 the Google space, the Bing space and use chat GPT, you know, um, Bard, you know, what, you know, whatever, you know, it's no longer an option. This is the way we're doing business now. This is the way we're doing life. So it's time to embrace. And as we're heading towards Web3, which, you know, the technology is here. We're getting our feet, you know, need, you know, you know, you know, square down into developing a culture. I look at, you know, my grandchildren, they are fully inundated and, and their whole life has been has been totally developed around the technology. You know, when I talk to them, you know, you know, the older ones, the older ones, they are fully embraced within it. This is a way of life for them. The younger ones, even I'm talking two and three. You know, there is no other way. What do you mean? <laughs> you know, it's like, what, what do you mean? This is this is how it's done. You know, this is how it's done. You know, let me, you know, hand me that device. I'll work it for you. You know, those are the, and that's the two year olds. You know, so the, the I'm saying this. I'm saying this because I know and I talk to and I'm dealing with a lot of people who are struggling and everybody that I know. You know, as an as a, as an adult that's going through a transition of, of lifestyle, transition of career, a transition of culture, you know, it is going through a thing where we're really struggling, you know, as a collective. And so I'm making this video just to kind of give you a little clarity to the fact of understanding it's not an option anymore. Social media usage is not an option. 
You know, these things are not an option, not just here's the thing, not just as an entrepreneur, but I'm talking about as as an employed individual. You know, here's the thing. There is not one job on this planet that does not involve technology and the use of it. Whoever you work for today, I guarantee you, I guarantee you technology is involved and the fact that you have to use it and learn more and you know you're 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 using new equipment now you have to you know you know you're going from from analog to digital you know you're going from handwritten you know you know I was having a conversation a couple weeks ago and there was a there was a, a breakdown in communication because somebody was using the old way of handwriting as opposed to using the new way of the, the, the digital communication, and it created a you know an issue within the job, which I mean, which will probably cost somebody their job. Just just look at that. Somebody used a form of communication that was once commonly used and practically used in that position, you know, not long ago, you know, in you know in in our recent you know last year. Now this year they did the same thing, and it's probably it can probably cost them their job literally literally because they did not use the digital option you know and because it's not an option anymore that's the whole thing that digital option is no longer a digital option now it's a digital requirement so i really want everybody to get their heads wrapped around this because i'm t i mean it's it's i am tired of seeing folks struggling with the simplest of technologies the simplest and here's the thing Here's the kicker. A lot of people I know that are struggling the most are actually ahead of, <laughs> technologically ahead of so many others, which that's terrifying in and of itself, but it's true. It's true. It's true. The, a lot of people that I'm dealing with are actually literally ahead of most of the other people, not only that I know, but that they know. And, and so, I'm like, I'm like, okay, I got to step back just a little bit. But here's the thing. It's 2023. Can't step back too much because we got to be aggressively, aggressively applying technology to our businesses, to our everyday, to our, you know, I'm looking now, you know, a lot of my computers are older, antiquated. I mean, my equipment is failing fast, you know, right now, the, the, my, 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 my most used piece of equipment that's, that's up to date and upgraded, you know, is my, is my, is my Samsung, you know, um, Galaxy. You know, and I mean, it's 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 top of the line, but all the rest of my equipment is antiquated, and it's time to upgrade. You know, I've got some, you know, some, but it's still working. Sure, yeah, it's still working. Yeah, I can get action. It's moving slower. It's you know, it's it's out of storage. You know, my store. You know, but I know this, so I'm like, okay, well, this is not new to me. This is gonna sneak up on me. You know, I've known for years. You know, okay, I'm using it, I, so I get another computer. I get another, you know, and so it's just time to now. It's time to upgrade. It's a continual process. You know, for me, I've been upgrading for years, and I'm gonna keep upgrading because I understand I have to continually upgrade with my technology. Because here's the thing, this might scare you. There are generations of technology that are sitting on shelves right now because we're not ready to use them because we have not even mastered the tools that we have now for the for the technological infrastructure that we have in place right now. Meaning we have the technology at hand that's going to literally run everything, but we're unable to use it yet because a lot of the infrastructure is not there. The high speed Internet is not, you know, ubiquitous. You know, throughout the throughout the world, you know, not 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 to mention throughout the country. I'm gonna throw another nugget at you. See, I live in the country. I live way out in the country. Probably people might say in the middle of nowhere. Here's the thing. We just, we just, I mean, just in the past, just in, as of 2023, got high speed internet in our vicinity. Now they've been slowly slowly developing the infrastructure around us and they actually said that they wouldn't be here until 2025 and this was the projection in 20 i think it was 2020 2019 when they said you know well, we won't have it there until 2025 so you know thank god they're actually ahead of head of schedule for for our area so that worked out pretty nice but here's the thing i fully understand you know, the restrictions that a lot of people have, but I say this specifically because I still, just with my handheld device, with my telephone, 
for the past several years before we got high speed internet out here in rural America, I still, you know, I had, you know, when we first moved here almost four years ago, you know, basically if I can get a 3G connection, I was doing awesome. And we have a 5G phone. If I could get a 3G connection, I'd still get as much work done as I possibly could. If I can download something, it'd take me forever to send an email to do whatever, you know, because the, the 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 infrastructure you know we didn't have the the we didn't have the 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 cell sites weren't even out here i mean that's just the literal i mean i literally live when i first moved here just a few years ago all you you could only get access to the 3g you know a 3g signal then it went up to 4g and some sometimes now and now we have 5g but it's spotty it's spotty sometimes it's hit and miss a little bit but now we have the high speed we have the um broadband that you know we have the you know we have the the the, the fiber optics have been laid you know and then it finally reached you know our corner of the world but i say this specifically because there's a lot of the country there's a lot of the world where it still has not gotten to yet so i'm i'm, I'm imploring you even more if you have access to it now you better tap into it soon because as the world becomes more online and it's coming fast rapidly by 2025 most of the world will have some form of internet access. And if you're not already in the game, you've missed the game. So put all that together to say, you know, it is no longer an option. Technology is no longer an option. You know, I chat GPT, you're hearing a lot about it because it's awesome. You know, now it's in its, it's in a, you know, it's in its fourth iteration and it's, and it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. The uses of it is pretty awesome, but there's a whole lot of AI out here that's really awesome. I'm putting together a lot of different things and AI is the top of the line. I mean, whether, whether it's, you know, whether it's voice, whether it's, you know, I mean, whether it's, you know, you know, just, you know, different, you know, um, AR, there's so much, whether it's, you know, you know, um, 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 videos or whether it's even, you know, art pictures a lot of times, you know, I mean, I'm just, I'm blown away at the applications. Okay. And I'm saying this because it's more important than ever. Now I speak to, you know, the entrepreneurs and the business owners and so forth. You have to have it. If you're a business owner, if you're an entrepreneur, you have to start applying it and you have to be the one that masters it not hire somebody, not find somebody that knows how to do it. You, I'm, I'm, I'm pointing you, you can't see me right now, but you have to be the one that masters it at this level because the technology is changing and evolving so much. You know, the platform as it is today is not what it's going to be next month. And it's not what it's going to be two months from now. You know, it's not going to be what it's going to be three months from now. By the fourth quarter of this year alone, 2023, you know, the platforms are going to be changed, you know, two or three iterations. And here's the thing. You know, slip, fall, do it. You know, just just touch it, start touching it because what you're doing is you're retraining yourself. That's what has to happen. You have to retrain yourself. You have to retrain yourself on these devices, on these technologies, so you can get used to them. So that once these technologies improve, and once these AIs improve, you'll be able to apply them a lot better than you're doing now. Stop being afraid. It's here to stay. Tap into your technology. You know, play with it right now. Just touch it every day. Do a little something different. You know, add a little, take a little, you know, do a little something different. Here's the thing. If you're not doing it now, it's going to cost you a whole lot more later. And that 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 is something that you're not going to be willing to, you know, you're not going to be able to bear that. And so you're going to have to go back to working for whoever you work for if they'll have you, but they probably won't have you because you don't know how to operate the equipment that they use now. And so, you know, I'm telling you, this is not an option no more. It's here to stay. Let's get on board and let's help one another. So welcome to Well. Hope you hope this gives you a little insight. You know, just you know, calm down, relax. Let's talk about it. I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Welcome to Well.